Welcome to another installment of Techno Ask. Today we're looking at the Neuros MPEG Recorder 2 Plus. This handy little device can be found at neurosaudio.com. What this little device does is it takes any input that's plugged into it and stores it here on the compact flash card like you see here. The reason I'm showing it here is because it doesn't require a computer to do this. It actually handles all of the compression inside of the little device. Simply plug in the flash card as you see here on the front of the device. Now it also accepts SD cards, but I find that most people have compact flash cards uh, instead of these SD cards. Looking at the front of the device, you'll see that it's got three slots, one for power, the middle one for input, and the outer one for output. Connecting this device is relatively simple. The Neuros comes with one wire for input and one wire for output. Input and output wires are identical, so you don't have to worry about confusing them. As you can see, on one side of the wires, you have a standard mini input jack. On the other side, you've got the composite standard yellow, red, and white plugs that are going to plug into whatever devices you're using. So you'll take the mini jack, and what you're going to do is plug it into the output of the device. And the output would be to your television or whatever you're going to be looking at. These are what's going to plug into your television, so that way you can view what you're recording. We'll take the other wires, and you'll notice that they're identical to the wires we just plugged in. Those wires are going to attach to the output of the DVD or whatever it is you're recording, and the mini plug will plug into the input of the Neuros device. These two plugs are clearly marked, so you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever in getting this plugged in. The device also comes with a nice remote control, which has numerous options as far as recording, power, home, you know, standard remote control buttons for maneuvering through menus, volume control, as you can see here, as well as mute. The remote's a standard, what we would call a wafer remote, and uh, looks pretty nice compared to the Neuros' slim design. The quality on the video capture is good and acceptable for television playback. The question is, how do you get the video from the card to your computer? Well, what you can do is take the card out and purchase yourself one of these Sony USB flash readers, which, as you can see, is a nice small compact design, which on its front has inputs for compact flash, Sony's proprietary slim card reader, and of course, the normal SD card reader. You can pick these up for about $19.99 in any computer store, such as Best Buy or CompUSA. But once you've purchased one of these, you simply take the compact flash and, or whatever memory stick you have, plug it into the device, and then use the wire that comes with it to plug it into the back of your computer. The Neuros is a great way to digitize any type of video you have, whether it's DVD or VHS. For $139 is a great deal. This is Finnis Price. Stay tuned. Techno-esque. For lawyers, by lawyers.